In GoPro Studio, the very first step that we have to do is we have to import the footage we wish to fix. We can do this by going to the Import New Files button in the upper left hand corner of GoPro Studio. Next, navigate to the folder that contains the footage that you wish to fix. Now I'll be using my Flying Eagle video clip as an example today, just to show you guys the difference between the fisheye effect and the non-fisheye effect when we remove it. The next step that we have to do in GoPro Studio is we have to go to the advanced settings. Now the settings aren't too advanced, but it does give us a few options that we can play around with. For image size and frame rate, I recommend that you leave that on source. This will match the original frame rate and resolution of your footage, and this is best if you want to play around in a different video editor at a later time. You also have the option of choosing your file format of MOV or AVI. This may be good for people that are using a different video editor that only accepts one file type, such as AVI or MOV. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro, so it accepts both, so that is not a big issue to me, so I just leave it on MOV. As for quality, I highly, highly recommend that you leave this setting on high. If you leave it on high, this will retain the quality as best as possible when converting your footage and removing the fisheye effect. Now, if you're pressed for disk space on your computer, you can feel free to knock that down to medium, but again, there will be a little bit of quality loss, so you've been warned. As I said, I'm gonna leave mine on high, and below that is the feature that we're all here for. This is the remove fisheye effect feature or option, and normally it will look like this for you guys. Make sure you guys check that box off so it has an X through it, and we can now click OK. So once we've set the settings for removing the fisheye effect, next what we can do is we can add our clip to the conversion list. Now, after we click the button in the bottom right hand corner here, you'll notice that our video has now been added to this box of conversion list on the right hand side. After that, all we have to do is click the convert all button and your computer will start processing and converting your footage and removing the fisheye effect on your GoPro footage. Now, depending on how fast or how powerful your computer is or how big the footage is that you've recorded, it may take a long time or even a short amount of time, depending again on your footage and your computer. So after this is done processing and converting, I'll come back to you guys and I'll show you guys the final product of removing the fisheye effect. Okay, so my computer has finished processing and converting my GoPro footage. And if we go to the bottom right hand button here where it says proceed to step two, which is the editing phase, you will now see that your GoPro footage has been fixed. There is no longer a fisheye effect on the video. Now it will crop the edges a little bit of the video to flatten out the image and get rid of the fisheye effect. And you might lose a tad bit of quality around the edges of your video, but it should look pretty good. And with that said guys, that is pretty much it for removing the fisheye effect. Now all you have to do is go to export and I recommend going to archive slash edit. This will save your video in the highest quality possible and you should be able to edit it later on. All you have to do is click the export button after that, save it, and you are good to go to edit it further in a different program. So that is how you remove the fisheye effect. It's very easy, very simple, and you can do it for free. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, hit that like button below as well as that subscribe button if you wanna see more tips or tutorials like this. Anyway guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.